Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today we have new information on DDR5. AMD's Ryzen 4000 APUs are here and they completely crush the competition. Yet Intel won't be going down without a fight. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first drop-made items. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's new Simon. First up for today, we're beginning to get some final specifications on the next-gen DDR5 standard. According to an expert from Cadence, which is an IP company that works closely with JEDEC, 2020 is set to be the year for the upcoming memory standard. And with that, he shared some interesting specs. For starters, the new standard is apparently set to launch at a whopping 4,800 mega transfers per second. And that's to start. Remember that as a new memory technology matures, speeds typically move up by quite a bit. In fact, they're estimating an increase of one speed grade every 12 to 18 months. With that said, the main thing here isn't speed, but capacity, as DDR5 is set to start with 16 gigabit dies and move all the way up to 32. Basically, DDR5 should be a serious jump in performance and density, and with so many chip makers moving to multi-chip modules, it couldn't have come at a better time. Next up for today, AMD's Ryzen 4000 APUs are here, and the reviews are in. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a review unit, but I figured we could go over multiple reviews and zero in on the actual performance of Ryzen 4000, rather than focusing on a specific laptop. With that said, remember that mobile processor's performance is heavily dependent on that specific notebook's design from how well it can dissipate heat to battery life, etc. So keep that in mind when I go through this. Anyway, it does seem most reviewers received the same ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 with the Ryzen 9 4900HS and RTX 2060 Max-Q, 16GB of 3200 RAM, and if you were curious, it comes in at $1450. But of course, the main thing to discuss here is that Ryzen 9 4900HS processor. And remember that the S is AMD's designation for the lower 35W TDP variant. When it comes to the 4900HS, we have an 8-core, 16-thread CPU with a base clock of 3GHz and a boost of 4.3, and the iGPU comes with 8 Vega cores at 1750MHz. So how well does it actually perform, especially against Intel's current crop of high-performance processors? Well, it kind of dominates. In fact, similar to AMD and Intel's desktop variants, AMD almost completely crushes Intel in multi-core performance. I mean, you can see that in most applications, minus a few random ones like hardware accelerated Adobe workloads, which is likely due to Intel's quick sync, as well as more number crunching workloads. But when it comes to pure multi-core CPU performance, AMD's 8-core 16-thread Zen 2 processor has no equal. When it comes to the iGPU, AMD really gained some performance, even while still using Vega over their newest Navi graphics. As you can see, their new 8-core Vega GPU completely crushes their last-gen 10-core Vega. Not only that, but it even beats Nvidia's discrete MX250, completely nullifying lower-end mobile discrete graphics. Of course, when it comes to high-performance mobile chips, they're usually paired with a powerful discrete GPU, so that won't happen often regardless. At the end of the day, AMD's newest Ryzen 4000 APUs are seriously impressive. And while some reviewers seem to complain about noisy fans and some pretty high temps under sustained load, that's likely due to the compact size of ASUS's 14-inch laptop, and it's fairly normal with high-performance laptops as well. With that said, we'll certainly find out more as other notebooks make their way to reviewers. And make sure to hit that subscribe button to find out more as those come out. Of course, Intel isn't planning to give up its mobile leadership without a fight. And that means new processors. And while we already know that the company's Comet Lake H is expected to make its debut on April 2nd, a new slide has been leaked with some serious performance. According to this, Intel's upcoming 10th Gen 10980 HK is an 8-core, 16-thread, high-performance mobile chip that can boost as high as 5.3 GHz. Now, this isn't entirely new, but it's further confirmed through this slide. Of course, it will require some serious thermal capacity. As you can see, it includes yet another new boost technology, making it likely a rare occurrence. Plus, the power draw and heat that you can expect is likely pretty high, but we are still talking 5.3 GHz on a mobile part. That's impressive. Just make sure you don't burn your leg. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for AMD's Ryzen 4000 APUs or are you just ready for DDR5? Let me know down in the comments below. 
And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.